Dopamine is the universal currency of foraging and seeking, right? We call, sometimes talk about motivation and craving, but what we mean in the evolutionary adaptive context, what we mean is foraging and seeking, seeking water, seeking food, seeking mates, seeking things that make us feel good and avoiding things that don't make us feel good, but in particular seeking things that will provide sustenance and pleasure in the short term and will extend the species in the long term. Once we understand that dopamine is a driver for us to seek things, it makes perfect sense as to why it would have a baseline level and it would have peaks and that the baseline and peaks would be related in some sort of direct way. Here's what I mean by that. Let's say that you were not alive now, but you were alive 10,000 years ago and you woke up and you looked and you realized you had minimal water and you had minimal food left you need to be able to generate the energy to go seek those things. So dopamine drives you to go out and look for things. Maybe you hunt an animal and kill it, or you find an animal that was recently killed and you decide to take the meat. You are going to achieve, or I should say experience some sort of dopamine release. You found the reward, that's great. But then it needs to return to some lower level. 